Hey, I'm Horace Dodge. And I'm John Dodge. We're the Dodge Brothers. And you're, and you're watching DeBoss Garage. Road trip? Yeah, Pontiac, Michigan, to uh, Roadkill Nights. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping to take a nice, reliable vehicle, but in true Roadkill fashion, we are going to take this 5.9 Dakota. Dodge? <laughs> don't worry, I'll put a Studebaker body on it. And I got rid of all the stuff we don't need, like wipers, fan, heater, radio. Well, if you don't know who or what Roadkill is yet, you're missing out. I've been following them since the first road trip with their old Pontiac Catalina, and uh, they're part of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel. And it's 100% of the reason why we're driving this 70 year old Studebaker slapped on top of a 5.9 Dakota RT frame, and we're driving uh, across Ontario to go see them in Pontiac, Michigan for Roadkill Night. Hoping to meet as many people as we can involved with Roadkill, and especially Finnegan and Freiberger. We've been tweeting with Finnegan a couple times. I think he knows who we are. After watching the Stubby Bob episode, he made a comment where they measured the drive shaft twice and still cut it wrong. And if you don't know what a tape boss is, look it up online. But I sent him a tape boss and uh, he tweeted about it saying it's a good idea. So hopefully he's been using it and uh, we get to talk to him about it. So I also want to talk to Freiberger, who's one of the hosts of Engine Masters. And I want to talk to him about seeing if we can somehow get a Cummins on the dyno and get some actual horsepower and torque readings and playing with the injection pump and putting in a fuel plate. Because everybody says you can gain that much horsepower, but I'd really like to prove it. I just don't have the funds to do it. So hopefully something breaks on the way so we can experience our own little roadkill in some little fashion but hopefully we still make it on time to Pontiac, Michigan and meet the guys. What's cramping? <laughs> it only makes sense. This is probably the closest they're gonna get to our side of the world. So here we go. Try not to look nervous at the border. <laughs> it's so hot in there. The sweat's just running down. <laughs> I'm sticking my head out. I'm like, I'm sorry, it's really hot. She goes, you ever been arrested? I'm like, no. <laughs> she goes, you ever been in handcuffs? No. She's like, are you lying to me? I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, I don't know well, she goes, huh, Blues Brothers. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She goes, you're both wearing sunglasses. <laughs> so the, the fuel gauge, when it's, I filled it up, now it's at empty. So I think when it's full, the gauge is at half. When it's half, the gauge says it's empty. So the last half of the tank is a complete guess as to how much fuel you have to have. <laughs> We feel for you in the Tahoe. I could have fixed the AC for you if I really tried hard, but said I had a nap. That's only fair. 
What up? What armor are you getting? Uh, no, 100's fine, just as long as it doesn't hit 125. Okay. Yeah, trainees. What other, what tranny? I don't even have tranny gauge. Oh, that one. Oh, really? It hit 260? No, not 260. We oh, yeah, 220. We were getting close to 220 earlier. Yeah, 220 is fine. Did you bring your eggs? Because we're going to have an omelet. The other guy was all pissed off. He said he can't get anywhere within three miles of the place. So we wait an hour to get to <laughs> registration. We are not in the show. Everybody's popping their hoods, cool. <laughs> Everybody's overheating. Again. I'm not the only one with this idea. <laughs> it's just a lot colder out here than it is in there. standing where I am about 20 years ago. So hopefully in 20 years, the Boss Garage will be able to get their own swanky little trailer with air conditioning and bartender. And get, subscribe. We're going for big money prizes. Dodge and non-dodge. You're going to see it all go down right here. We have people who hug the traps all night. None of this was here 24 hours ago. None of this was here. Can you say you're watching the Boss Garage? What? The Boss Garage. <laughs> yeah, there's that. There you go. Well, there you go. Hey, Boss Garage. We have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it. It does. So we're, we're from Canada. We haven't bought anything in Canada yet. No? Well, I'll keep my eye open. You got your cell phone number? I'll call you when he comes up. The crazy That's awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so last year they had this event at the Silver Dome, which is kind of a spur of the moment thing. And um, they tweeted about it and a little bit on social media beforehand. And before you know it, they had 10,000 people show up. So this year they actually went all, all out. Um, behind me is Woodward Avenue. It's the first road, paved road in the States. Um, now this is just what people are telling me. So you guys invented the Dodge, eh? We did, we yeah. Did, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Patented that ball bearing, you know. That's awesome. First 35 horsepower car. 1914 was a good year. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. Rumors are you went down Woodward and, and tested your uh, your vehicles there? Yeah, well, we tested them people? first on Woodward and then we tested safety by crashing them into trees. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and we made it out. Very nice. So the city and the sheriff's department and uh, the mayor's office and that all got together and they actually shut the street down and they, they got the track ready for the eighth mile and apparently they're just going to leave it this way. So this is going to be like a drag strip. They're going to take everything away again tomorrow and open the street back up again. But that's why it was such a pain getting here because they blocked the whole thing off and you got to go all the way around to come here. <laughs> There's Ford faking it again. That can't be a general. Wrong truck, wrong, like wrong vehicle, wrong make. Uh, Ford guys. That's gotta be them. The guy's wearing flip flops and a hat, but he's smoking, so I don't know. Somebody tweet if uh, if uh, Freiburger's a smoker. It's all fit to get in the right lane.
We've got a clapped out 0318 with no ring tension whatsoever and a tunnel ram on it. I was hoping that we would be able to hook up better than him and actually beat him. But Finnegan spun the tires off the line. What is that? It was a beast. It was a, he wanted to give a nice leisurely roll off the line. Now you guys had some issues with the rear end. You tried to make some changes. You were at the hotel parking lot. Some people have a shop. You guys pick the hotel. It's right there. How'd that go down? Well, the deal is that car is a completely wrecked old dirt track car that we bought in Oregon. Stock 318 in it. We went to the Mopar Nationals in Columbus, Ohio last weekend, bought a bunch of stuff out of a swap meet, bolted it to the car, didn't get a lot of stuff done like headers and things like that. Got I guess something was wrong with the car, so they bought a, a rear end off of Craigslist and we're putting it in the in the car in the hotel parking lot yesterday. It was too bad. I wish we would have known we could have given them a hand. surreal like it's out of a movie or something like a movie prop but it actually fires up and goes pretty cool it's funny when I mounted the radiator I built the stands put the radiator on and I was like uh oh the radiator extra holes and slid the radiator up into the hood. Oh. <laughs> so this nice. is actually the same height as the water neck on the engine. So you you fill it here with the upper radiator goes off and all right. the air goes out. Yeah, I so worked with Chip a... yeah, for a couple seasons over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that like? That was pretty fun. Chip's, yeah? Chip's uh, he's a cool guy. Yeah? Yeah. Is he the same guy he is on You know, he's like on camera. Even he's cooler off? in real person. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. But I mean, I can't count the times I went over there because I forgot something like wee hours of the morning. Yeah. And I'm hearing banging in the metal shop and I walk back and there's Chip like straightening a bumper. That's awesome. Well, what are you doing? There's no cameras here. Oh, we got to get this done. <laughs> okay. And I've actually left like at three o'clock in the morning and went back at five. I'm like, there's no way he did all this last night. Yeah. yeah. And went home and I go up to editing and he's like sleeping on the couch. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> His shop is like a city block long in Huntington Beach. Oh, okay. So okay. He's got a bunch of people that work there. Really talented guys. Right on. He's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm next door at a Roadkill and a Hot Rod Garage. So what do they do there? I go, I do exact opposite of what you do. <laughs> He's all, what? I go, I take cars that are, they're decent. Yeah, okay, we yeah, make yeah. them fun to drive, but they still look like crap. He's all, man, I wish I could do that. <laughs> well, I'm actually a heavy equipment mechanic. I'm big on putting Cummins and everything. Right, yeah. We so, just did that. But you never put one in the 92 Cadillac. Not yet. It'll be okay, but you'll grow into that. You'll grow into that. <laughs> so, and a, then jump it for distance. Yeah. Because yeah, what yeah. else do you do yeah, with a yeah, Cadillac, yeah, yeah. you know? Canada, huh? Yeah, I can tell by the oak. <laughs> Oh, and you got hooers there too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we do. Because we, 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 we have yeah. prostitutes down here. I heard they have hooers in Canada. So I got to meet Lucky. Lucky signed my hat. <laughs> You're watching The Boss Garage. I love Lucky. He used to work on overhaul with Chip Foose. And, and he was never center stage, but he's always that extra guy in the background that, that lightens everything up. And uh, I really need somebody like that too. Somebody who can do everything that I do and is funny and doesn't, mean, doesn't mind being on camera. But anyway, um, working with Chip Foose, it's nice to see and, and hear from somebody that was there. I love the entertainment, but those guys, they know their stuff. They really know their stuff. And it's nice being around people who, who, who have the same passion on the vehicles and, um, and are able to articulate that, make it entertaining but still do a really good job with it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.